25 years ago, I hauled home 600 paving bricks from an alley in Chicago that was being torn apart. And for two decades, they sat in a big pile waiting for me to decide what to do with them. This summer, they were finally transformed into a beautiful patio that greets people who come to our front door. Now, what happened this summer that made the difference? Perhaps it was comments from my adult children. Boy, Mom, this really is an eyesore out here, isn't it? When are you going to do something with those bricks? Perhaps it was a nudge from one of my sons who offered to pay to have a crew clear the eyesore so David, my husband, could build a patio from the 600 bricks that I hauled home 25 years ago. It's remarkable, isn't it, how enough nudges can make us do something we want to do but have a hard time getting started. In two weeks, the 50-day spiritual adventure, More Than Survivors, will start in your church. So, you have two weeks to put some nudges into place in your life. Start praying about your pastor's sermon preparation. Procure your adventure journal. Establish accountability relationships. Make plans to adventure with friends or family or a small group. Start reading the guidebook, Soul Alert, thriving spiritually as strangers and aliens in the world. It was my task this year to write the guidebook, and I had a wonderful time working with the growth principles in this adventure, but in a way, hopefully, that will complement and amplify your pastor sermons. The guidebook is sort of a weekly sermon on the written page designed to nudge you along. Did I want to make something beautiful with those 600 bricks I hauled from the city 25 years ago? Well, absolutely. Do we all want to be more than survivors? I believe we want to thrive spiritually, but we need friends and family to nudge us along. Are you ever going to do something about that eyesore by your front door? Here, let me give you some help. In order to thrive spiritually, in order to complete this year's adventure successfully, you're going to have to put some nudgers into place in your life. Read the guidebook. Soul alert. When are you going to do something about that spiritual eyesore in your life?